22, I have accomplished major results in all our impact areas. In HIV vaccines, we saw with great excitement the publication of GO1 results in science. In the TB space, we finalized the phase two study of MTB back, and we also started to prepare a safety study in HIV positive individuals. In emerging infectious diseases, our teams were able to deliver our vaccine candidate in the middle of the Ebola Sudan outbreak, a major outbreak that fortunately enough was solved before the vaccine was even needed. We continue to build partnerships with key stakeholders to make sure that we are all understanding the relevance, not only to developing innovation, but to making sure that this innovation is accessible to those who will need it. And that needs to start early on and in 22, we celebrated numerous meetings and discussions to have conversations around tuberculosis, HIV vaccines, HIV antibodies, and emerging infectious diseases innovation to really help understand the value that this innovation will bring and how to enable access. The coming year is going to be a very important um, and significant one for IAVI and our partners. We're making progress on a number of important global health fronts, including our HIV vaccine program, which is focused on the elicitation of broadly neutralizing antibodies using a germline targeting vaccine strategy, ongoing studies exploring this approach using RNA vaccine delivery. We'll be generating data that's going to be very important and hopefully will enable us to significantly accelerate our um, HIV vaccine programs. On the TB vaccine front, we will be hopefully entering a phase 2B study um, conducted in partnership with our colleagues at BioFabri of the MTBVAC vaccine candidate, which we think is a very promising one. And certainly the world needs more effective approaches to control tuberculosis. Our emerging infectious disease programs are advancing in very promising directions, including we're looking forward to launching a phase 2B proof of concept efficacy trial of our loss of fever vaccine candidate in partnership with CEPI and EDCTP. Our phase one Ebola Sudan vaccine program has just begun in partnership with uh, BARDA and DITRA and our Marburg vaccine candidates. Similarly, we hope to advance into phase one studies in the coming year. Um, in addition, our broadly neutralizing antibody program for HIV prevention being conducted in collaboration with the NIH Vaccine Research Center, uh, NIAD at the NIH and the H. IV vaccine trials network, HVTN, will hopefully be initiating phase one studies. We're also looking forward to advancing these products, not just into efficacy studies, but really laying the groundwork for their implementation should those studies be successful and really creating new models to enable affordable, equitable global access to those products to ensure that everyone who needs them can benefit from them.